Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Samantha. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I'm going to show you how to make a really wonderful hair deep conditioner. So this conditioner can help to replenish moisture. So if your hair is feeling really dry, then this deep conditioner is going to be for you. But it also helps to promote healthy hair growth because of the ingredients that I will be explaining shortly. And it also helps to reduce the hair breakage and reduce hair shedding so the first ingredient is going to be oats and you can use any type of oats whether they are rolled oats or cut oats or even colloidal oats um, oats have amazing nutrients in them and that's why they promote it in healthy eating um, the nutrients will help to nourish the hair follicles and therefore if you use this deep conditioner on a regular basis, your hair follicles are going to get all the nourishments they need in order for them to grow healthy hair and also promote healthier, uh, faster hair growth. So oats will also help to strengthen the hair. And that's because they have a small amount of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. And we know protein can help to strengthen the hair and add that elasticity, which we need. Oats also help hair to retain moisture. So your hair is going to be less dry and it will um, resist breakage. The next ingredient is going to be Brahmi, which is one of my favorite ingredients. Brahmi not only helps to revitalize dull, lifeless hair, Brahmi can help hair to grow back in bold patches. And again, if you use this deep conditioner on a regular basis, you're going to be able to grow hair back in bold patches over time. So Brahmi also has anti-inflammatory um, properties and therefore together with the oats, the, um, the Brahmi can help to soothe a dry, irritated scalp. And that's exactly why I absolutely love Brahmi. And then we're also going to need an oil. I'm using a hair growth oil and the recipe um, is in the description box below. I've put a link to the video in which I showed you how to make this growth oil. But you can use a plain oil, um, like plain olive oil, plain almond oil, or even sunflower oil. And then uh, we're also going to need a humectant. And I've chosen to use honey here. But if you don't have honey or you don't want to use honey, you can use glycerin instead because we want this deep conditioner to um, add moisture to our hair so you do need um, a humectant. The benefit of using um, honey is that it also helps to soothe an irritated scalp. So the method is pretty simple. We're adding four tablespoons of oats into the pot and then I'm going to add three cups of water. So I'm just adding freshly boiled water there because that will help to speed up the process. So you may be wondering why I'm adding three cups and that might seem like a heck of a lot of water. But yes, to begin with, it is a lot. But when the oats cook and the water is boiled down, um, you'll be left with um, much less than that. So you keep watching to the end of the uh, video and then you see exactly how much I'm left with. So we're going to cook the oats until they've thickened up like so. And now it's time to move on to the next stage. So I'm just going to pour the oats, everything into my blending jug because uh, we're going to blend this um, after a little while. So put everything in and then um, now is the time to add the rest of the ingredients. So now I'm adding one tablespoon of the brahmi and then we're going to mix it really well. So uh, we don't want to cook the brahmi which is why I'm adding it at this stage and now we're going to mix it in really well because we want that brahmi to infuse into our oats um, because if you add it at the end um, you don't get that much benefit and then I allow everything to cool down completely and by then the brahmi has infused the oats and now I'm adding about a tablespoon spoon of oil. Um, I just decanted some of my growth oil there but just add about a tablespoon of oil and then we add one tablespoon of honey. If you're using glycerin you add the same amount you just add one tablespoon of um, the glycerin and then now we're going to blend everything because we want all the ingredients to mix really well but we also want to break down the oats so that they form a nice beautiful paste which is going to be our mask. Thank you. 
Now, there's going to be a lot of particles and residue in this mixture, so we need to strain it. Um, I wouldn't advise putting it straight onto your hair because you'll have lots of particles and they will be a nightmare to remove. So we're going to strain it and I'm just using the end of a pair of tights, but you can use a wig cap or cheesecloth, whatever you normally use to strain with. Um, and that will give you a nice, clean, smooth mask to work with. So as I mentioned earlier, there'll be a lot of particles in here and that'll be a nightmare to um, get out of your hair if you put that straight onto your hair. So this is what we're left with. A beautiful, beautiful mask. Really lovely and silky. And I've left it a little bit on the loose side, but if you want it thicker, just add a little bit less water um, or a little bit more of the oats, um, just depending on the thickness that you want. And remember, we added three cups of water, but we only have 250 mils of of, um, this mask so that's why you do need to add quite a bit of water to begin with so I'm using this as a deep hair conditioner and therefore I've already shampooed my hair um, and now I'm just going to apply it throughout the hair so if you want to get the benefits of hair growth or uh, soothing of the scalp, you do need to put this onto the scalp. And I know a lot of people say don't put conditioners, deep conditioners onto the scalp, um, but I guess it really depends on your objective. So if you want to treat scalp issues, you need to put it onto your scalp. And these are beautiful, wonderful natural ingredients. And as long as you're not allergic to them, then they're not going to do any harm um, to your scalp. So I'm just going to make sure that each and every strand is coated in this goodness and also every inch of my scalp is covered with this beautiful mask. So I'm just going to go around and then once I've finished, I'll come back and explain the next steps.
So after applying the mask, I'm just going to cover my head with a plastic bag and that will help to generate indirect heat and help to make the mask even more effective. Um, so I will leave it on for about an hour, but if you're in a hurry, then leave it on for a minimum of 30 minutes. So after an hour, this is what my hair looks like. Um, I could feel the warmth in there because of the plastic bag. And I'm telling you, my hair felt so, so soft. And it also felt strengthened. I could feel that my hair feel, um, felt strengthened um, because of the uh, oats that are in there. And if you've ever used a, a hair strengthening product, you'll notice the difference that, you know, if it's effective, you immediately see that your hair is not breaking as much, it's not shedding uh, excessively. And that is exactly what I found after using this mask. And it is a really, really lovely mask. Your hair feels softer and stronger, which is exactly what we want from this mask. Um, so this mask if you're going to make a big batch i recommend that you freeze the remainder and just freeze it in the portions that you'll be using it and then just defrost at room temperature when you next need it um it can keep up to about a month because we haven't added, added a preservative i wouldn't recommend keeping it in the fridge and in order for you to get the most benefits i would recommend you use this regularly it's safe enough to use on a weekly basis um, but just use it however often you need to use a deep conditioner so that's it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that video and also found it useful if you make this mask and you use it then please come back and let me know how you got on um i would love to know how you got on but i'm sure other people would love to know as well so I'll have another video for you real soon. But before I go, just want to thank my subscribers because I love you guys and you are really helping this channel to grow. If you've not yet subscribed, then please subscribe and also please share the video um, through your socials and WhatsApp. And also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because those likes really help to boost the videos. Um, so other people looking for this content will find it more easily. So until next time, my lovelies, you take care of yourselves and your loved ones. God bless. Bye for now.